welcome to complete failure. <laughs> uh, so I had a sort of problem uh, recently where, I don't know, I just like, I don't know. I, I explained it in my sort of, in, in I don't know, wasn't even a video that would have passed by now. I don't know, whatever. I don't know. It's like my mic sort of worked, but sort of didn't because it was in the wrong port, but it worked sometimes. And it, there's no real reason why. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense, but it's working now, which is always wonderful. Great, good times, whatever. I'm just going to turn that off so you don't hear it at all. <sighs> but yeah, so basically... I don't know. It did like it recorded the video, which you can see, but it didn't record any of the things coming from my mic. So it's uh, so it's you know great that like my series that I was you know really hoping to do and was really excited for just doesn't work, and you can't hear me say anything. So yeah, but anyways, welcome to the summer of games. So basically, I decided that I wanted to. I would let's, uh, make a series where I would go through every single game that I had here, and it would. I don't know. I would. I would just. I would just go through every game that I had here, and it would be you know me just doing things, playing playing all these games, having some fun. I guess you know trying to do that didn't end up working out because you know I it everything stopped working. Or it, just, it didn't record any audio, and because I didn't, I haven't really watched any of my videos after I recorded them, it didn't, I didn't know until today when I was looking back at one of the videos, so that was always wonderful. So I wasted an entire week doing nothing, but recording videos that I would have to record again, basically, and I'm also just sitting here doing nothing, <sighs> whatever, so... Um, I don't know. I was just I just decided that I wanted to play all these games because I had them, and I don't know. A lot of them ended up being gotten rid of. Some of them I haven't ever played, but know some about. Uh, some of them I haven't played and literally know nothing about. Some of them I just downloaded because I could, and it was just like whatever. I don't know. Can we, can we move along? Do something? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I said most of the games were here, so you can see all of them. Which is which is good, you know. All of them are basically right here, uh, except for a few that are in like the Windows menu, which I just didn't want to put out here. But it doesn't really matter because you'll. Yeah, I mean, most of those are most of those are seen very early in the series. Still don't have any commentary on the video, but they're still seen very early in the series. So I guess I just kind of looked at them, whatever. And then I went in here and was like, these two games don't count, and there were more in here for something else, which I think you'll see after this video, but whatever. You know, they were in here, and yeah. So these yeah, these two don't count because they don't work, and then, I don't know, there's all sorts of like Minecraft stuff in here, like there's mods and, and Twitch and AT Launcher and Technic Launcher and wherever else, and then there's like the, the, the Bedrock version of Minecraft that I also have, but we're not going to be doing that. So, yeah. And I also have a bunch of mod packs down here, which we're not going to be using all of them. We're just going to do Minecraft once, which, you know, I had technically already recorded. And then there's this down here, which, if you don't know, if you know what that is, then I'm not going to be using it at all. But if you do, but if you don't know what that is, then don't worry about it. It's just a bunch of different, like, games and stuff. But, like, I don't know. And then I said uh, all this stuff in here, and I said that, Minecraft Bedrock, the Windows 10 edition, wasn't going to play. And then there was Forza Hub in there, which I'm not going to do either because it's not a game. Sorry if I'm too loud sometimes. I don't know. I don't know how to... I don't, I don't know what to do with this mic. It's kind of kind of dumb. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else I said. There, I mean, like I said, there's a bunch of games. I got... I got okay, most of them... Most of them were from Steam. Uh, I got some of them on Twitch. Nah, this is not what I'm talking about right now. I was talking about the mod things that I had before with Minecraft. Uh, most, uh, some of them are on Twitch because you got some free ones with like Twitch Prime or whatever. Uh, a couple of them are on Epic Games Launcher because I can, and I got some free ones there too. And some of them were from Windows 10, the Windows 10 Store, Microsoft Store, or whatever. 
so they they you know nothing too special some of them i actually downloaded just like randomly from like launcher like that you could launch them yourself like if you know how to get league of legends like that you did you download from like their website and all that i mean some of them one of them i had to pay for but i i don't really think i talk about where i get most of these games because i don't know it doesn't really matter you can probably find that out yourself i'm just playing games it doesn't really matter where i got them um i don't know what i was talking about here um so i don't know i was I should probably say it before I skip forward and accidentally, like, reveal what's going to happen. So, um, for the first episode, I didn't really want to just explain things and end it there. And so I was like, okay, since most games take forever, like, they have long loading screens and all this other sort of thing and whatever, figured, what could I get into easily? So I, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, like, you know, like GTA 5, Forza Horizon 4, you've probably seen these games take forever to load up. So I was like, something that won't take very long, Pokemon Showdown. And I realized I didn't have my name in there, which was kind of annoying, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so then there's there's all sorts of stuff. I was also kind of, for, for a lot of these games, I had to sort of debate what with, so with myself obviously, because I wasn't really debating with anybody else, but sort of, sort of, like, think about what exactly I would do, and so I was just like, all right, I, as, you know, and obviously, Showdown has a lot of, a lot of things you can do, a lot of different battles and stuff, so I was like, all right, what, what exactly am I going to do, so I was like, all right, we'll just do random battles, we'll do a couple battles, maybe with a team, and then I ended up building a team at the end of the episode that I was thinking about, I don't really know, um, but yeah, and also, so there was this, like, chat room thing on the right side, and if I closed it, which by that, I mean hiding it, it would crash the game, basically, so that's wonderful, I kind of asked, I think I asked, uh, how, or why, what does that mean, what happened, I, or why does that happen, I don't know if anybody could answer that, but I just kind of was, I don't know. I was really annoyed at that because I was like, I don't want to see this thing over here that's not going to do anything. So, yeah. So I went in the first battle. It was a random battle. So we started with Pro Ugly, Polyrath. So I went for the knockoff. It was a good idea there. I usually tend to do that if it has it. Life Orb, that kind of helps. Um, I don't remember what happened in this game. Um, so it used Rain Dance. Because, I mean, why not? I don't know why. He probably has Water Absorb. He uses Focus Blast. Didn't expect that. Probably should have. Um, then it proceeds to uh, probably go... Because I realized that I didn't have anything for this Pyrath. Because my Kartana, the only thing that was that really had anything... That in some way wasn't weak to it. And or in some ways, but could possibly have moves that were good against it, didn't have any moves that would be good against it. So I was like, what am I going to do against this Pyrax? I literally had nothing. Half of my fucking team was weak to Focus Blast. <coughs> oh. Oh, God. Yeah. So probably Dialga as a switch. Focus Blast me. Insta-kills me. Fucking crits me and, uh, and i was just like well that went well um because the cartana is stupid frail so i just kind of was like all right well that that went well so i didn't really know what to go out to after that so i went out into passimian and i was like all right i can find something to go do to do against this pyrath because passimian is not weak to fighting it's probably gonna get wrecked by something else but I'm like to fighting the hydro pumps. It misses. I use the close combat. It doesn't do anything, and I get my nice defense drop. So I uh, immediately go for the switch to Tentacruel. Don't remember this, like I said. It's nice and shiny. I don't know why. I didn't think it could randomly be shiny, but whatever. Uh, so I didn't. Again, still don't have anything for this thing. I have no moves that are super effective against either water or fighting type. So I went for the Sludge Bomb, so I was like, sure, it goes for the Rain Dance, it goes for Ice Punch, don't know why, not even effective, and I get rid of the Pyrath. Hallelujah, only lost two Pokemon. Pikachu, with apparently it has the Unova hat on, which I don't know if you can even, I don't, can you even really 
do that? I don't think you can even do that. And you can't even make a Pikachu with that hat on. So I switched out to Pissimian. It goes for their strongest move, Volt Tackle. And yeah, and then I earthquaked it. <laughs> uh, so then he sends out the, the Confe, which is a nice fairy type. So I went for Tentacruel. He uses Draining Kiss, which does nothing because, you know, it's a poison type. Hit him with the, uh, I don't know if he switched out. He switched out into Star Raptor, so I hit him with the Sludge Bomb, which did 40%. Don't know what I did. I went for the knockoff. Nice nice idea. Knocked off its life orb. Double-edged me and killed me. <laughs> so that went well. Um, so then I went out into probably the Kabutops or the Passimian. I think I just didn't want to... Why did I set out the Kartana? Alright, well, I knocked it off. I knocked off the Comfey, which was leftovers, so that kind of helps. Although I have a life orb, so that's not, that's not the greatest. But I went for Smart Strike, because, you know, it's a fairy type. Uh, yeah, and uh, that was a good idea, because it killed it. <laughs> Kartana is super strong. It just doesn't have any defenses. Don't know why I stayed in against a Rapid Ash, which was going to be faster than me. It Flare Blitzed me and absolutely fucking destroyed me. <laughs> So then I was like, all right, what do I do against it? Pull in the rock water type. We're good. Uh, so I went for Aqua Jet, because why not? Just so I could guarantee I'd be faster than it. Almost killed it. I was quite annoyed. Hit that high horsepower. Didn't kill me, which was always nice. But then it died to Life Orb, or um, I guess Life Orb. Uh, Star Raptor went for Aqua Jet, and it killed it. So then we have one Pokemon left, Terrakion, which uh, I was like, okay. So I went for, I think I just went for, what did I go for? Did I go for Aqua Jet? Or I didn't, oh, I wouldn't, I didn't think I'd be faster. So I went for Aqua Jet. It, it did 50% of his health, so I was like, alright. It died. It goes for Swords Dance, which is always wonderful. I went for Pass Simeon, which is guaranteed to be faster than it. And I Earthquake the shit out of it. I'm pretty sure I Earthquake the shit out of it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> do it already earthquaked it and it died so that was nice that was actually quite close so yeah um i don't know if i did anything else and i oh yeah i showed that if i ha if i hit it it crashed the game so you don't even have to say it but yeah i they tried to hide the chat and crash the game which happens every single time it doesn't make any sense i don't understand why i don't know if it's because i have like some old thing uh, you can do balance hackmons. Why did I do that? But it's, oh yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't select the team, which is kind of annoying. Uh, okay. You can do let's go random battle, but that's just first gen, so that's not even really that fun. Um, you have randomized metas, which I think I might have did another one of these. I think I might have just done, oh, there was Super Staff Bros Brawl, and I was like, what the hell is that? And I, I don't even know what it was necessarily, I just played it. Um, oh yeah, I tried to, but then nobody was playing, so I was just like, welp, and then I tried to do Battle Factory, and nobody's playing that either, so I just went to uh, Gen 7 OU and picked one of my many teams, which you can see them all here, um, I just went, I don't, I don't know, what, what team did I go for, did I go for... Oh, I went, oh, okay, so I went for one of my Aorus teams, which is, I'm, so I made two uh, teams in my group out with Sapphire for, just, just so I could do competitive. I didn't actually, like, really try to make them too hard. I just kind of did. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I tried to make them relatively good, so I just kind of did that. I didn't really make, I don't, I didn't, I don't think I really made them very good. Like, especially now, I wouldn't think that they were very good. So I didn't really know what to go for, but I went for my Lucario because I was like, sure, I can do some setup. So I went for the, uh, so it's a Harmyama, so I went for Swords Dance. Don't know why I did that. Actually, I don't, oh, yeah, I switched out. So I switched out into uh, Gardevoir. It goes for the Belly Drum, which is a little bit scary. And it's, uh, you know, nice and, uh, nice and Guts, which is <laughs> even more ridiculous. So I go for the Moon Blast, and it bullet punched me, and I got wrecked there, so that was wonderful. Uh, so next I went for the, I don't, I don't I had like literally nothing that was faster than it, or actually no I did, obviously, here I am is relatively slow, so I went for uh, Salamence, because I have one of those, 
Uh, and I also I also like the fact that basically every single thing on my team can be can be mega, uh, except for the 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 gastrodon. But I was just uh, you know whatever. So uh, yeah, only, only, of course the Venusaur is the is the mega because I I don't know I kind of like using that. Uh, so I pulled out uh, Lucario again because I was like all right whatever. He pulls out the Mega Heracross, uses Revenge, gets wrecked. <laughs> Lucario gets wrecked. I'm not really surprising there because I am not great at this game. Uh, so I figure, you know, what do I go for next? Um, you know, I go for Gastrodon. Because <laughs> so I was like, all right, whatever. Um, so it obviously it has Skill Link, but it's not using Skill Link. I don't know why. So I went for the Toxic. And then go for the Scald. I don't know why I didn't go for that first, because Toxic isn't really that useful. Use Revenge, insta-kills me, don't know how. Um, uh, you know, brought out brought out the uh, Mega Venusaur, so I could, I don't know. I, I saw it, whatever, I just, I just went for the Sludge Bomb. Waited for a while. <laughs> So I don't know. Basically, I just kind of just kind of did this. Um, I don't know. I I I think I might have said uh, before that I was like I don't have any idea how to play this game. Um, like I I don't know. I just I just didn't really have. I don't I don't know. Like I like obviously this was made for Oris, which even even then probably wasn't very good back in Oris. So. You know, obviously, with all the like new sun and moon stuff and all the new like strategies that have come out, it probably it definitely wasn't very good. So I don't know. And then and then they decided to disconnect. So you know that was wonderful because I wasn't going to win. I guarantee that with the, with the stuff that they had, with all their fighting types. I don't know what they were doing there, but. Yeah, with all their fighting types, I wasn't going to win with just something that was four times weak to fighting and something that really didn't have anything for fighting types, and would probably get smacked up by that by that uh by that Krabom. So yeah, or 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 smacked up by the Lucario probably. But yeah, so they lost due to inactivity because they left accidentally. I don't know, game crash, whatever, and I won somehow. So I went into team builder because I was like, I want to make a team. So. Uh, since I referenced uh, Detective Pikachu before, I decided to make a Detective Pikachu team, which you can see this took up like sig a significant amount of the video. So I went, so I, I decided to just take uh, take uh, Pokemon that were in the movie, and was like, all right, let's do that. So I went for uh, Greninja, Mewtwo, uh, Torterra. I went for obviously Pikachu, which you can't choose. Actually, you can. You can actually. You can choose all those. You can't. You can you, you choose the partner Pikachu, really. So you can choose all these. You choose original something. I don't know. I don't. They weren't. They aren't even really that useful. But whatever. You can't choose like starter Pikachu or any of the ones from Oris, the contest ones. But whatever. So then I was like, all right, what do I do next? Um, you know, because I was like running out of Pokemon that I could put in here. Because I remember things like. Like uh like the Gyarados and I don't know there's there's various other things from the movie I mean there is I remember all the stuff I mean it's been a it's been like a week now whereas then it had been like a couple days since I since I watched the movie but yeah so I was like all right let's uh, yeah let's make a let's make a Detective Pikachu team and I was all right. So I, I was just kind of choosing the Pokemon for the moment, and then I would figure out what the teams looked like afterwards. So then I believe I went and looked at a list of all the Pokemon that were in the movie. And then I had come up with... I don't know what I came up with. I just kind of looked through at stuff. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I mean, there was... I, I, I said there was like a... There's like I'm a champ in the movie. I don't know. I just kind of was like looking through stuff. I mean, there was there was a Dialga statue. There was uh, well, there was a Dialga and Palkia statue. There was a Gengar. Um, I don't know. I remember all the stuff in there. Yeah, it, I don't know. I don't think the list was very helpful though. I think I decided to eventually go with something. I was apparently deciding what what Mewtwo to go with, but then I just kind of did like whatever. Still, I'm sitting here doing nothing. Thing is, when I brought out the list, 
Uh, so I went I went for um, a champ in the end because I was like, all right, sure, let's go for that. Uh, I don't know exactly what I did, so I think I just started building whatever I felt would work easiest. Um, I think I was like, oh, should I go for Mega Mewtwo or Mega Charizard? I think I went for Mega Charizard in the end. So I think I, I think I actually did Charizard first because like, all right, I could do that. Uh, I don't even remember. I'm just kind of skipping through this. Yeah, I think I actually did Charizard first. I think. Yeah, just Charizard, and I was like, all right, what what a what thing I should go for? And I was like, well, Mega Evolving, so probably just go for Blaze anyways. Um, well, I assume I would go for, and I yeah did that Charizard. Why? Because I was like, sure, let's do it. Um, I went for some some various moves: Air Slash, Dragon Pulse, Flamethrower. Then I think I went for the Machamp because I was like, all right, I'm gonna put you know I'm gonna make it guts. So, so for something good, it's kind of just kind of just kind of you know, just kind of auto did this and was like, do whatever they do. Pikachu obviously had to go for the light ball. Go for, uh, I think I went for static in the end. I uh, just chose a bunch of moves. Didn't exactly remember what was in the movie. So I went for obviously volt tackle thunderbolt. And then I don't know. I just, I kind of went for whatever I thought would be good. And I didn't want to choose all electric moves. So I went for extreme speed and signal beam. Um, I yeah I just kind of did what it said I don't know I just kind of gave up Torterra gave leftovers because I was like bulky boy let's get him even more there um Greninja I was like all right what am I gonna do for this one I think I don't know what I went for I think I went for Protean in the end yeah so I was like sure gave him life orb made it a nice special Greninja my my favorite type of Greninja. It's really cool having giving like Dark Pulse and Ice Beam and all that stuff and all stuff. Icky Uh and then there was like Mewtwo, what I go for with Mewtwo. So I went for a Rocky Helmet in the end, which is not a great idea, but I I went for it. So then I was like, so I believe yeah, so it was an Ubers team, so I went and battled it. I was like, We built a team and we're battling it. For the remaining like five minutes of the video. If it can find an opponent. <laughs> So, uh, I find an opponent, uh, yeah, okay, so I'm here, so I think I just went for the Mewtwo, because it was, like, the only thing that had, like, uh, like, setup moves, really, so I was like, alright, I'll go for the Mewtwo first, it goes for the, uh, Greninja, or he, he, or she, whoever they are, uh, so I was like, I'm gonna go for the, uh, go for the Aura Sphere, or maybe not, um, I don't know what I, I don't know what I said I was gonna go for, I think I was like, alright, let's go with Champ! I don't think you can really learn anything good. Went for the Dark Pulse. Didn't do anything. Actually, it changes type, and then it does some weird shit. So then I got burned, obviously. Uh, so then I went for the uh, the classic uh, knockoff, I think, because I was like, all right, it might switch out, so I'll go for the go for the knockoff. Got a nice critical hit. Always nice. Uh, but yeah, so he switched out into the Banette, which was funny, because then I just knocked it off, and there it goes. <laughs> it's like, oof, that's rough. And it brought out into... Uh, Catherine, the Salazzle. Uh, so I decided to go for Earthquake because the nice four times effectiveness, and it had a sash, which was which was quite nice of it. But I had Bullet Punch, so there it goes. And I think I yeah I think I died too, but that was my first gone, and that's two on their team. So I decided to head back out to the Mewtwo so I could try to do this to the uh, do the do the call mining again. But I was like, well. Uh, let's not do that one. Uh, so yeah. So then I was like, all right, well that's not gonna go very well. So I went f directly for the Aura Sphere because apparently I was faster, and I got Dark Pulsed. <laughs> but it also had a Sash, which was quite nice. Two Pokemon having Sashes, and I Aura Sphered it, and it died again. Here was that Mewtwo, not doing too well at the moment, but you know, whatever. I. Don't think I really had anything good for a Greninja, so I was like, whatever. Oh, we have a nice floor just here. So I decided to head out to... What did I... I guess I would go for Charizard. Uh, Moonblast. Didn't do anything. Don't know why you would think they would do anything to a Mewtwo either, but whatever. So I obviously went for the Mega Evolution and went for the uh, probably Flamethrower. Even though it's not going to be super effective, but what else are you going to do? Went for 55 damage. Got got a nice... Okay, they went for Calm Mind in the sun. Actually, it's my sun. So Calm Mind, hitting up for that. Again, the Calm Mind 
hitting up the wish, but it's not going to land. Actually, the, it's going to land, but it's going to land on something. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Oh, man. You went for that, and I dragon pulsed it and almost killed it. <laughs> so then it dragon danced. It probably was going to be faster this turn, but I went for a dragon pulse again, and I, I kind of kind of didn't work out very well. But whatever. I went out to the Greninja, who I, who I assumed would be faster. Didn't quite work out like that, because I am useless at that, but whatever. Still at 4% health, so I don't know. I, I probably would decide to go out for the at for that Torterra, so, you know, smart idea, obviously, um, I don't know what I went for, oh, yeah, it went for Roost, so when I went for Crunch, I thought it would kill it, but that just didn't happen, uh, so then, I think I just went for, just went for the YOLO Woodhammer, because I knew it would Roost again, so I was just like, all right, fuck it, get rid of it, all right, so we have two Pokemon, the Halucha and the Floridus, to my, to my other stuff, so it encored me in the Woodhammer, which kind of sucks because I was hoping to not have to use Woodhammer. But then I did the, you know, 1000 IQ play and switched out. So <laughs> so it went for the bulk up. And then I was like, welp. <laughs> and I size striked it into oblivion. <laughs> He's like, ah, he won't switch out. Uh, and then I went for size strike again and killed it. So Mewtwo OP. That's why it's in Ubers. Um generally don't play games in ubers without having all ubers pokemon on your team uh especially if you are up against a mewtwo <laughs> but yeah so i think i just kind of ended that there um basically that was it i kind of looked at the chat rooms i don't know why i did that but i saw something at smash bros so i was like whatever and that would be it so um yeah so that was the first episode where i played pokemon showdown uh the next ones will all start with me inside the game and with me still audio commentarying it afterwards. <sighs> you know, if only this would have worked swimmingly the first time. But then you probably wouldn't have heard me over the game volume, which was kind of annoying, but yeah, so. Hallelujah! I want to die. <laughs>